The cancer of our time can be described in one word, meaninglessness. Meaninglessness. You talk to an average young person today, how many sexual trysts do they really want to find fulfillment? How much money in the bank do they really want to find fulfillment? The loneliest people in the world I have found have been the most indulgent ones who've come away totally empty. As Chesterton said, meaninglessness does not come from being weary of pain. Meaninglessness comes from being weary of pleasure. Meaninglessness does not come from being weary of pain. Meaninglessness comes from being weary of pleasure. Skeptics often tell me that it's the problem of pain that keeps them from believing in God. May I suggest to you, it's the problem of pleasure that keeps me from being totally secular. Been there, done that, tried this. It simply doesn't work. I recall when I was doing a Bible study with the Atlanta Braves when they were playing the St. Louis Cardinals, sort of 10, 12 minutes each of the chapels, and uh, I walked in there, and I, I closed with this. I said to them, you know, fellas, there's nothing like walking into a room and being the only one who fails the physical. <laughs> I said, I looked at you boys, muscles bulging like watermelons, and I walk in here. I'll never forget the line of my wife once when I gave her a nice good hug. She smiled, hugged me back, and said, you know what? You have the arms of a thinking man. <laughs> I burst out laughing. She, yes, and she said, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean that in a bad way. I didn't mean that. Oh, well, what a compliment. What a compliment. I said, I'll do my best to make these the arms of a non-thinking man. <laughs> so I said, guys, I can't talk to you about baseball. You guys hit a ball long before I know it's even come. So I'm not, no, I'm not going to talk to you about that. I said, here's what I want to talk to you about. How to live your life on the road because I've probably lived that longer than any one of you sitting in front of me. They leaned forward and started to listen. One of the most notable players from one of the team's multi-million dollar contract walks up towards me and he puts his hand on the back of my neck like this and then puts his head on my shoulder and starts to sob and my travel assistant, knowing it was a very precious moment for him, just walked away into the distance and he looked at me and he said, Ravi, I have more money than I ever thought I'd have, but I want to tell you I've lost everything of real value in my life. I wish I'd applied the principles you gave us today long before. Are we on the highway to abandonment with pleasure without principle, pleasure without boundaries? Think about it. Think about it. You can't have everything. You can't. Meaninglessness is the plague of an average university student around the globe today. I could find better ways to make a living than what I'm doing. But this is a calling. This is a conviction. And I will tell you, I have seen lives transformed who have taken that path and turned away from complete hedonistic paths to a life that builds its moral boundaries with the revelation of God himself.